It's a blessing, you know, throughout the hard work, all the adversity we face. Uh, we just stayed together, played as a unit. And, you know, as y'all can see, the last, you know, past two games, we made plays, we stepped up and have improved. And that's just something we continue doing. Now, Pig, before the Georgia game, coach, uh, the coaches said you had the best week of practice leading up to that game. That was obviously the best game of your career to that point. Mine, I mean, even with the fumble. What has your mentality been like over these past couple weeks? I mean, you know, yeah. I would say in general, you know, being that we had a bye week, I was ready to get after after that Georgia game. So this really got us mentally prepared, you know, film study, you know, practice. And I just think my job in general was to have another great practice, you know, lead a group of guys. Because one thing I realized, you know, once, you know, we have intensity and uh, momentum, the young guys feed off me. So I was just, my main point was making plays. Talk about the last offensive drive. And I know Marquez made the big catch there, but just talk about the way you guys came together when you had to make a drive and, and you did. We knew the situation of the game was. Uh, we saw the time on the clock and we knew we needed to make a play. You know, it was just fortunate that Marquez ended up making a big play. You know, he um we had a couple bumps, you know, in the beginning of the quarter, and I told him just keep your head right, you know, stay focused. I said we in this. And you know, he stayed positive and that's one thing I can say. He was very mature, you know, freshman and he stayed positive and he made a play for us. I know it's not your guys' uh, position to always give props to a kicker, but you wanna talk about what Pilardi did to win this game and, and the kick he made. I mean it wasn't a long kick, but it was a pressure pack kick. It was a pressure kick. Um Pilardi, you know, he's one of them great guys that, you know, being that he a kicker, everybody don't think kickers work, he works or oh, not hard. You know, even do games, I mean throughout practice coaches, you know, Pin him on the pressure, may say this situation, that situation, and we knew he was going to get the job done because he'd been on the pressure in practice and he was able to make the kicks. There are a lot of folks that were writing off October for you guys. What does it mean to get a win against a team like this, uh, this time of year, in the middle of the season like this? Uh, it's a, like I said, it's a blessing. I mean, that's just to show what we can do. Last week, I mean, two weeks ago against Georgia, showed us what we can do. So just to help boost our confidence, you know, open eyes for people. Now people are not going to sleep on us, and we're just ready to go out and hunt. Pig, what do, you, what do you think you guys really started believing? Not hoping that you could play with some of these teams or winning some of these games, but really believing you could win. I mean, we believe it. Uh, I want to say, you know, just coming together over the summer, you know, we saw that we was way closer as a unit. And that's something that, you know, I would say that kind of helped us on the field. You know, when you're down or y'all going through adversity or a play goes wrong. And I think our first couple of games, you know, playing against Western Kentucky, South Alabama, we saw, you know, our intensity, all the fans saw our intensity and how we was with passion and energy. And I just think being on that field, when it's, when it's tough and it's tight, when you look to the guy beside you, our chemistry helped us. It's been a long so, time since the stadium's been like this after a game. Can you talk about what it was like for you guys? A lot of you guys have been through some tough times in the locker room with each other, just sort of seeing this place electric like this. I mean, it was just a great feeling. I mean, you know, Defense play, play their butt off. Offense play their butt off. You know, coaches call great play calling, and you know, like I said, we deserve this win, and you know, I'm just happy we got it. Any any concern there in the second half at all when they jumped out, took the lead, that you guys could could get back in and win this game? I mean, we just kept our poise. You know, watching that Louisville UCF game, you know, anything can happen at any point in time. There's a lot of time in that game, and you know, we just stayed poised, stayed positive, and we just knew when we had to go back on that field, we had to execute. And Justin's pass to Marquez was a third down play, I think. Just talk about the, the way he's kind of come up clutch, Justin has maybe, in situations like that. I mean, you're catching passes from him. What's he been I mean, like? everyone learned from their mistakes. You know, Justin faced a lot of adversity in the beginning. But at the end of the day, Justin, a hard worker. You know, he called out the, um, you know, the defenses. He, be, he studied a lot of film. And one thing he do as a leader, he called the offense together. You know, on Sundays, on Wednesdays, we get together as a unit. We watch the defense. We break down the coverages, what, what play we should call right then and there. So he's just a great leader and he's a hard worker. You guys are on the map now. I mean, there's no sneaking past anybody, right? Not at all. Not at all. We open a lot of people's eyes. Is that, was that sort of the, the thing that had been brewing inside you guys? You, you were close two weeks ago against Georgia. Yeah. Played the best half you have all, you know, all year. But you knew that it was just a matter of time before y'all broke out and, and yeah, did something it, like that. It was just a matter of time. I mean, like, the playing game number 16, the way we came out, the injury we played with, and we knew that what it took. You know, we weren't going to you know, have a big accomplishment that game and come back and, you know, have a downfall. So. We was, we was ready to come back out here and fight. What, what, what was Coach Jones' message to you guys? What was his general message? I mean, he was, I mean, at the end of the day, the game come down to inches, you know. And I mean, he was, he wasn't down. He wasn't mad because we fought our butt off, you know. 
at the end of the day, we hung in there, and I mean, we knew we should have won that game. So we didn't, we didn't really have too much negative stuff to say. It was all positive, and he would just say, you know, come Monday, ready to work. And that's something we did, and we got the win. Where were you, and what was your view on, on Marquez's catch there on the, on the game-winning drive? You were on the uh, other side of the field, or were you kind of over on that side, too? I was on, I was on his side. I was on the other side of the field. It was, it was on goal, and I just think his his play was very special. It was a big play. Uh, Marquez, he stepped up, you know, through our practices and through our games, and just for him to have that grab, it was a huge opportunity for us to win, which we did. And I was just such excited for him because, you know, a couple plays earlier, you know, he, you know, we had a couple bumps on play calling, and I told him to stay positive. He stayed positive. He came out there. He made a big play for us. So, I mean, I was just happy for him. When he came down with that catch, were you, what was your initial reaction? Were you like, I ran over them. Yeah, I, I knew he caught it, you know. I, I was directly probably 10 yards from him. I saw we had the ball placing that, and first down there, I ran to him and told him I love him, you know. We love all each other. We love each other. and. You know, we face adversity and we stay together, and we, we made plays. What does this win mean? I know it's been four, almost four years and 19 games that you guys had kind of a big win against a ranked team. But I mean, what, does this, what does this win mean? I mean, we, we back. We Tennessee. Um, we know what it takes to win. You know, staying together and just playing with energy, passion, and just staying poised. You know, letting the coaches draw the X and O's and go out there and making plays. And as y'all can see, Really, you know, penalties and making mistakes and turnovers will, have, will make you lose game. That's something that we didn't do, and you know, it showed it there. What was Justin's demeanor like on that last drive in the huddle? I mean, we don't huddle, but Justin, uh, he just, you know, he always, you know, talk talk quick about us getting us lined up. You know, we big on our tempo. The defense, you know, they can't get lined up. A lot of them be tired and gas. So he would just, you know. Quick on, you know, getting us lined up and be ready to snap the ball. No nerves or anything like that. We want no nerves, you know. Justin, he been in a situation like this before. He played as a true freshman when Bray got hurt, so he been, you know, he got a little experience. So, and being that, you know, this is a big game for us. Everything is about being poised and just staying positive. Any special message from a coach, another player before you guys took the field? Inches, from inches winning the game. You know, it don't matter if it's a catch, a fourth down in inches. No matter what it is, inches win championships. So he was just saying, you know, the inches matter the most. You don't know what play can break or cause you to win or lose that game. So we tried to play every snap hard. What's up? Running through your head when that ball goes up from Marquez, and kind of how did you see that? How did you see that play from Marquez? 